Before we start baking our new normal maps, let's export our current map. So right click on it and select export resource and click select folder. Then find the exported map and rename it. Next click the bake mesh maps button and replace the current cage with the second cage we created and start your bake. When it's done, click OK and export a new baked map and rename it as well. Now let's have a look at the result. Let's zoom in for a closer look. We can see that we have a very clean bake without any artifacts. This one looks good as well. Let's check the front side. And this one is also great. Ok, let's move on. This one is great. And this one is also great. Ok, let's move on. Now this one has a few artifacts, but if we check the area where we had the projection error earlier, this is now fixed even though our nearby details were not projected correctly as they were not covered completely by the cage. Let's check the front side as well. We still have a few artifacts on a few of our corners, so let's bake our map using our next cage file. So I'll click the Bake Mesh Maps button and replace the cage and start my bake. Ok, now let's export this new map and rename it as well. Then select all the maps and drag them onto Softus Painter. Define all the maps as textures. And import them into your project. Next, plug in your first map and find the model that needs to be fixed. I'll start with this one. First thing I need to do is to set the normal mixing to replace. Then, under the Layers tab, delete the current layer and make a new fill layer. Turn off all the material channels except the normals channel and rename the layer to something like Normal Map 1. Then repeat these steps for each baked map you made. Next, select the layer for the first map and connect the first baked map to it. Connect the remaining maps to their corresponding layers. Next, set the layer's channels from base color to normal and change the blending mode to normal as well for each layer. Now we have all our maps stacked, one on top of the other. Then make a black mask to the top layer and add a paint effect to it. We need to do the same thing for the layer below as well. 
Now, all we have to do to fix the artifacts is paint them out. It's that easy. You can also click on an area and holding down shift, click on another area to draw a straight line. This will help you speed up your process. So I'll go around the model and paint out any problematic areas. Now this part here doesn't go away when I paint it, so this means I need to switch to my next layer that has plugged in the map created using method 5. Perfect. Now let's move on to the front side. I'll continue working on this layer since the rest of the models had the same cages for both map 2 and map 3. I am however going to speed up the video to save you some time. Ok, I believe we are done, so let's have a last look at our models. Everything looks ok, so let's export our final map. Go to File, Export Textures, and select where you want to export your map. Then, choose your normal map configuration or create your own and choose the file format and bit depth you prefer. Next, make sure to turn off the non-exploded model and click export. When it's done, click OK and rename the map to something like Final. Now let's import our final map. I'll turn on the non-exploded model and turn off the exploded one and connect the final map to the non-exploded model. Now let's have a look at the final result. All our details look great, and we don't have any artifacts or distortions. Ok. Alright, let's check the other side as well. 
everything looks good.